Democrats thought they could beat Donald, but he was ready for them. Congress did not believe Trump had the gall to defy them on the border wall. After a painful shutdown and a terrible budget deal, Trump declared a national emergency as the last, best resort in securing funding for the border wall. Yet Congress tried to deny him by voting to overrule him. Then Trump used his first veto to stop them. But it wasn't over yet, Congress voted again, this time to override his veto and bulldoze his chances of building the wall. Unfortunately, they were sorely disappointed. From Fox News. House Democrats on Tuesday failed to override President Trump's first veto as part of their battle over border security, representing a victory for the administration that allows the president's declaration of a national emergency at the U. S Mexico border to stand. Geo Trump. You'd better believe he made sure he had Republicans band together to protect the wall. In order to overrule a president's veto, it takes two-thirds majority by Congress. Sadly, for the left, they got 248-181 votes. They fell short a crucial 38 votes to steal Trump's plan. I'm so glad Republicans finally had the guts to stand up for our nation's security. If they had succeeded, Democrats wouldn't have stopped there. Leaders like Beto O'Rourke have even said they want to tear down all the border walls. But thanks to the Democrats' failure, Trump is free to use funds from the military to build the wall. Democrats might be mad or depressed, but millions of Americans are cheering. No W developments at the border will move very quickly. Trump will be able to, unhindered, finally get much of the wall built. And just in time too, as thousands are crossing each day according to Border Patrol. Democrats will be weeping in the streets, but we will finally have the border security we so desperately need.